We always see lantern sides as the PowerPoint of the early 20th century. They were a revolution in teaching. They allowed teaching to become visual. You didn't have to teach with stuff or only with giant pictures on bed sheets. You really could project images. Every discipline used them. They were advertised in course catalogs. On the other hand, there was nothing original about them. Faculty members could make them themselves. They could take pictures of uh, pictures from books and actually make them into lantern slides. But they really, they're, they're important from that perspective. As individual artifacts, they're entire, almost entirely derivative. Not entirely, there are some original ones, but mostly they're entirely derivative. And they are copies of other things. In fact, we've got one that we discovered was a copy of half of a stereo slide. And so that was just very strange. You could tell it was a stereo slide. It had the shape of the stereo slide. But you only had half of it, and you certainly didn't have the, the stereo view. But it was really an attempt to be able to portray what you were talking about. So it made lectures hopefully more interesting. Uh, because they were heavy and hard to use and the projectors were heavy, they were superseded in the mid-20th century by, of course, film slides, 35 millimeter slides, which were much lighter and much easier to use, and you could assemble whole carousels full of them and, and give, give talks that way. But, but lantern slides are really the first use of projected images in teaching.